Hello, I'm Dr. Shelley Meyer. Today we're going over product reviews of the best probiotics for women. Stay tuned to learn more. I'm Dr. Shelley Meyer. So today I want to review the top three probiotics for women and tell you the pros and cons, what I like about each one and what I use each one for with my functional medicine patients. I am a registered dietitian, a functional medicine physician, and a board certified family doctor. So I work a lot with gut health and probiotics and um, hormone health, and I help women get off, and women and men get off the hormone roller coaster. So that's why we're focusing on probiotics today to help not only with gut health, but with hormone balance. So the top three that I've used, not necessarily always used in my practice, but the top three most popular because they're more readily available than some of the brands that I use in my functional medicine practice, but I do use these a lot are um, Renew Life, Garden of Life, and the um, Nature's Way Pearls. Those are the ones that I've seen to be most popular online. And check out last week's video if you wanna learn more about why women can benefit from probiotics and the unique strains and different situations where they can get the most benefit and what types they should use. First, let's start with Garden of Life because I see more women coming into my office using this than the others. So. It has a, it's the Garden of Life Women's One Daily Probiotic. It has a large uh, colony forming unit count, meaning a lot of amount of probiotic in it, 50 billion. Um, and then it has a variety of strains. So those are some pros. Why would we need this high of an amount? You can use that for an acute infection, vaginal infection, um, like BV, or you can use it for urinary tract infection, systemic infection, gut infection. Um, you can use it when taking an antibiotic. Just don't take it within a couple hours of the antibiotic. Spread it out in time-wise. Um, you can use it if your doctor has diagnosed you with a dysbiosis in your gut, with an imbalance in your microbial you know, bacteria in your gut. Or you can use it, like I said, for bacterial vaginosis when there's a vaginal microbiome dysbiosis. So it can work in multi-systems. It's only one cap daily. It's shelf-stable. Um, it's gluten-free, dairy-free, 30-day um, satisfaction. So if you don't like it, you can send it back. Um, cons are that it is strong. And so if that's too strong for you, you could get bloating and kind of distension from taking a strong probiotic like that. So you may want to go to a lower dose type if that causes that for you. One of my other favorite store brands that I recommend when people are looking for something they can just pick up locally um, is called Renew Life, and they have a lot of different um, probiotic brands, and they're all shelf stable. So, I like the 25 billion Ultimate Flora, that seems to be the most popular too. Pros it's shelf stable, it's affordable, easily available. Um, it has a lot of different strains in it, it has 25 billion CFUs in it, so colony forming units, the amount of probiotic strains in there, 12 different probiotic types of strains. A good deal, daily option, a little less strong than the um, Garden of Life version. It, it, the relevant strains that it has in there are good for pH balance and fighting yeast. See my last week video for those strains. And it has some bifidobacterium. It has a really good amount of bifidolactobacterium blend. Um, the others from this company, there is a high count one they have, again, for kind of acute care needs, you know, infection, recovery, immunity. Um, 90 billion count that they have. They also have an extra care, which is 30 billion. So the 90 billion, like I said, could cause bloating if it's too strong for you. It does have 12 different strains. All these brands, I mean, all these lines from this brand are gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free. It has kind of the same mix up the 90 as the um, 25 billion, but just more strain, I mean, more amounts. And um, it could be good for even high, stronger infections like C. diff and H. pylori, but always talk to your provider about that. Oh, the other thing I was going to say that if you feel like you need something strong like that, or you have a bacterial vaginosis or an imbalance, there are ways, or, you know, you keep getting infections, keep getting yeast, you can check out your urinary microbiome. There are some tests. There's um, Thrive Inside, and I'll put a link down below. There's Ellen, um, and there's Monistat makes a test. So you don't have to guess anymore, even with your urinary microbiome, you can test it just like you can your poop for your, your GI microbiome. So 
that, you know, you may want to test and see if you need any of these high count options. And then there's a lot of bifido strains in this brand new life brand. And I like the ratio that they have of bifido strains in that. Those are really good for eczema and mood and gut health. So it's good to have a good variety of bifido strains in your probiotic. So finally, we're going to come to probiotic number three and comment down below if you've tried any of these. If you have a different brand that you like, I'd love to hear what works for you and what you've used your probiotics for. So Nature's Way Probiotic Pearls. Um, these are a lower count of CFUs, colony forming units. So they could be milder and gentler for you and more focused. Um, and they're, so they're better tolerated by a lot of women. The um, strains they have in there, Rhamnosus and Plantaris and Acidophilus, then they're, they're really good. Those are the ones I talked about in last week's video, some of them for vaginal health and for yeast infections. The cons is that the pearls are pearls, so they're little, I mean, which some people swallow better, but they do have gelatin and palm oil in them. Um, so I'm a little bit more preservative. So you may want to check that out and see if you're sensitive to any of those. And if you're vegetarian or vegan in particular, even vegetarian, I'm vegetarian, I try not to have gelatin. So those are the top three that I wanted to mention that I see selling online and that women seem to really be using a lot. So the pros and cons of each one, please comment down below what your favorite is, what you might be using probiotics for, what questions you might have about probiotics. And please like, share, subscribe. That keeps the channel going. Check out my Mighty Network, which is all about, um, it's a group, a paid group, kind of like a Patreon group, but more so than that, because you get access to my eight-week course, Emerge Perimenopause Balance and Hormone Balance course. And you also get advice from me. I'm on there. I'm not counting as your doctor on there because you always need to see your medical provider for anything individual. But we're talking about gene health and hormones and gut health and inflammation and food and nutrition and exercise and supplements and essential oils and all kinds of things that can help you with hormone balance. So check that out. There's a link down below. We'd love to have you join us. First, you have to join the network. Then you go to the Reclaim Your Hormone Health group to join the actual group that has the course in it and has the support group. So uh, thanks for joining me. I will see you next week.